Hi guys, Anna here and this is my getting ready video where I show you my take on how to rock a bold lip. So now you start off fresh faced but before I do anything, I'm going to prep my hair because I want it to be different when I go out. So I just split it in half and I'm taking one section and splitting that into half and then kind of twisting it into this messy, twisty braid thing. Just gathering hair as you go along. And it's a messy thing like you don't have to make it neat because you're gonna take it all out later at the end so you can do this when your hair is like damp or like a bit just like a bit wet so that it has something to hold on and to dry so the curls will stay so that's how it will kind of look so you can see it's kind of messy but it's okay it gets the job done then you do it on the other side and then you pin up your fringe because you don't want that to be in the way while you do your makeup And then you're gonna start on my face. So I'm using this liquid foundation by The Body Shop. Uh, yeah, I just use like half a pump. I don't usually use foundation in general, like liquid foundation, but since this is a night out look, so why not? So I dot it all over my face and look really dodgy. And then I take my flat top e.l.f. powder brush, which is like a holy grail product for like any makeup person. Uh, yeah, then I just buff it down and like blend it out rather than going up because your pores are facing down. So if you blend it up, as my hand movement did, uh, it's like you're stuffing into your pores. So it's better to just blend it down. And then I'm gonna set it with another Body Shop product. It's um yeah their powder foundation. So I'm just taking a ghetto brush I got from Venus. If you have a Venus near you, get it. Yeah, so just swirl it around and then tap off the excess and swirl it on your thigh face. Okay, now comes one of my favorite parts of the makeup look, the eyes. I'm taking this Body Shop palette, which I have mentioned numerous times in all our videos. I'm taking the lighter shade of this bronzy light brown color. And then I'm gonna like pat it on my eye, focusing on the inner corner and like halfway through, but not like all over, just to wake up your eyes and make you look a little bit more awake than you are. Next, I'm gonna take my eyeliner, which I also raved about in our previous favorites video. It's by Clio. It's waterproof. It's amazing. It's felt, and I fall in love with liquid eyeliner all over again. Yes, it's true. Yeah, so now I'm just casually putting on my eyeliner which is the tedious process of making everything try and look similar and beautiful and yeah, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Yes. I can. <laughs> <laughs> And now for mascara, also by Clio because it came in a package and it's fabulous. I tell you this mascara, I have fallen in love with it. Uh, it makes your lashes look like so long and luscious. Yeah, and now I'm just casually, yet again, putting it on. Look at that face of concentration. And then I take the end of the wand and just run it through your lashes. I feel like it gives it a bit more volume than just like, you know, brushing it on normally. And another favorite product of mine is the Nutmeg Blush by Topshop. It's amazing. I've hit pen and I need to change it. So I put three dots on each cheek and I blend it out and make it like as seamless as possible. I think that this color complements so many skin tones. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for a blush or, or trying out blushes for the first time. And now for contouring, I just swirled my ghetto brush on my favorite palette that I use for my eye look and then I'm just trying to give myself a bit of definition on my face because I don't really have prominent cheekbones so this is my saving grace and the mask I put on every day. Kidding. And then now I'm using a Rimmel Red lipstick. Um, it, I have tons of red lipsticks. It's one of my favorites I guess. I love the smell of Rimmel lipsticks. It smells like old grandma, your mother's lipstick. Oh, it's beautiful. But yeah, I kind of forgot how to put on lipstick halfway through. But yes, yeah, so this is me casually trying to make it look okay. And now, this is a trick I learned from Andrea's Choice. Haha, <laughs> holla. Where you basically do that and then you just wipe it off and it helps to remove the excess lipstick. And voila, you have your finished look. You just take out the braids and fluff out your hair, spray some hairspray 
all that jazz and that's your finished look um, this is the look that I did for a uh, video that Debbie and I filmed which is a white t-shirt six looks kind of thing and the link will be in the down bar uh, so go check it out we had a lot of fun filming it I hope you had fun watching this video I hope it helped you or entertained you in some way be sure to like the video if this helped you and subscribe to the channel yay thanks for watching